The Rooney Rule, which, of course, is just one of many uh, policies that are in place here, does not apply to interim coaches. However, uh, a point that I've, I've made on NFL Network over the past couple of days is the comment by Jim Irsay saying Jeff Saturday was the only person for the job is kind of exactly why the Rooney Rule exists in the big picture, which is to prevent people from just saying, I know this one guy, he's the one, without considering different viewpoints, different candidates. As you watch this play out, and I don't know if you had any advance notice, Rod, of what the Colts had planned, but what what was going through the mind of yourself uh, and your constituents that you represent? Well, Tom, let me first say that owners have a right to select whoever they choose to lead their clubs. And uh, it remains to be seen, obviously, whether Mr. Ursay made the right decision for his organization. Only he uh, has the, 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 the understanding and the right uh, for that decision, and, and he made it. My issue, and, and with those that uh, I represent as part of the executive director of the Fritz Pollard Alliance, is in the process. Um, we can talk for quite a while about the insensitive, insensitivity and the disregard for people who have devoted their entire careers to the profession. Uh, it, it's especially hurtful to coaches of color who have found that the road to head coach positions has been, you know, long filled with obstacles. But again, we could talk, you know, for a good amount of time with respect to that. My issue is with the league's inconsistency on the question of hiring and fair opportunities. Uh, the, the league has a policy uh, which is known as the Equal Opportunity Employment Policy, which promises fair, open, and competitive hiring practices. Uh, I do not believe that the hiring of an interim coach should be excluded from that policy. And I understand that uh, exceptions are made uh, for in-house decisions, but any time a organization goes outside of of, uh, uh, of their full-time employees to hire another individual, especially for a uh, what's considered a primary position, then it should be opened up to the Rooney Rule. And let me just further say that. The Rooney Rule are just words on paper. We don't have a rule or a policy without enforcement or commitment to the spirit of the rule. And that's where we need to step back and examine where we are as a league to really ask ourselves whether or not we're truly committed. We are not. The, 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 the Rooney Rule exists on paper. It's just words. It's hollow if we're not willing to enforce it. And again, once I, I, I uh, as I said before, uh, I do not believe that an interim position uh, is worthy of exception when you're stepping outside of the organization to fill a role, a primary role at, at that. The text I got from various people um, black coaches and front office people around the league after Jeff Saturday got the interim job use words like insulting, embarrassing. There is a frustration, even though I certainly think there's an argument that if you hired a black player who had never coached in the NFL or college, you'd have some of the same level of scrutiny. But it happens to be that Jeff Saturday is not. He's uh, another white man who's getting an opportunity with a relatively thin resume as a coach. You mentioned the process needs to change. We need to be committed to a better process. What's your message to owners? If you get the opportunity to be in front of people before they go through the search process coming up in, you know, really it's getting going now in terms of vetting candidates, but into January and February as they're going through the process, what is your message to them about what you want the process to be and what you want their mentality to be moving forward? We just want a commitment to fairness, you know, a, a commitment to a fair process. Uh, there are only so many jobs, Tom, that are out there, and uh, everyone is not going to be in a position to get a head coaching job or general manager's job or, 
or, you know, president of a club. Uh, we understand that. But it, what we want is a level playing field uh, with respect to uh, evaluating our capabilities, uh, our success, uh, all of those things that we don't get credit for. Uh, that I, I certainly believe need to be a part of, of uh, the evaluation process. We just want to be able to, uh, you know, engage into a fair process that at least will take into consideration some of those that are capable um, and, and that they have an opportunity to be evaluated. When, when you don't have an opportunity to be evaluated, that's where the rub comes in. And, uh, you know, I, I do believe uh, the insensitivity uh, shown by the coach, it is a punch in the gut, particularly uh, for black coaches and, and for all the professionals out there, regardless, black or white, who devoted their, their careers uh, to professionalism. But, again, he has the right to make that decision. I'm just more concerned about process. And I, we let a lot of people down when we are not willing to enforce a fair and equal process. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.